everybody, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. As you guys can see, this is exactly where we left off. We are currently in the Kenworth W900B. Very, very nice truck. We're going to go ahead and continue our run, as well as our little drive slash review of this truck. I don't have a really big you and a really, really, really good review on, on the trucks that I've been showcasing. I've been really trying to, you know... Give like a good detailed, you know, what I think about these trucks um, and just my personal opinion about these trucks. I've been trying to do that as much as possible. Um, if you want to need more explaining, you know, just let me know. But, you know, as far as this truck goes, it is a really, really nice truck. Most of the trucks that I've shown you, there's been one or two that I've really disliked. But the trucks that I have showed you... I have really, really enjoyed so far. Uh, there's like only a few that I, you know, like I said, I really disliked. So, you know, other than that, you know, you know, I, I don't really know how I can explain, you know, you know, more detail of what I think about the truck um, than what I've already explained. But you know, I, I do like this truck. It's a very, very nice truck. It drives really, really nicely and everything like that. It's, you know, a, a perfect truck, if you ask me. It's definitely recommended. If you want this truck, you can find it on the Steam Workshop. It's, you know, not hard to find at all. In fact, I still believe it is on the most popular or, you know, somewhere around the homepage. So, you know, it's, you know, you don't have to look hard to find this truck in any way. So... Let's go ahead and continue our run, shall we? Let me go ahead and get this popped up for you guys. So we got 548 miles. Pretty long journey ahead of us. So we are able to complete this in just a plenty of time. And pop up this information here. So we have 36,000 pounds of used packaging. We're expected Wednesday, 1.32 a.m. and 3.02 a.m. So, you know, that, that really doesn't matter. We, we don't even have an issue with making our times because we don't have to worry about, you know, resting or anything. I had that turned off. Um, I, I, I don't get the point why that's even turned on. You know, it's just, you know, pointless and just a waste of time and everything like that. So I have that turned off for YouTube purposes. Uh, we have 33 hours remaining just in case you guys want to know. So, uh, let's go ahead and get on the road, shall we? I like having the map popped up, just in case we need to, you know, get in there real quickly. So, let's go ahead and fire the truck up. Very good sounding truck. Turn my audio up real quick so I can hear the game. Okay, let's get back on the road here. This is a rude rest area. I, I did not see that wall. That's why I was going forward. But there's a wall there. We can't go through walls, obviously. Why is that still popped up? Get out of here. I don't like those screens popped up. I absolutely hate those. We are good. So let's ease our way out of here. Try not to hit this wall beside us. Alrighty, we're good. We we could that old wall, not too badly. We sort of had to go into two lanes there, but that's okay. It just rained to clear it up for us. That was pretty nice. I did that. Oh, we're gonna go with 75 now. That's nice to know. I believe we're out of California. California is like the only state right now you can only do 55 in. Uh, like New Mexico, um, Nevada, and, um, and what is that other state? <laughs> uh, Arizona, I'm sorry. You can all do 75. Sometimes in Nevada it's usually like 80, so it's not bad at all. So, there's a couple things I'd like to talk to you guys about real quick. First and foremost, sorry about the confusion about last week. 
Um, I was not able to get that video out in time. Um, and that's why I released a video on Saturday, I believe, uh, for American Truck Simulator. I, I was not able to make that in time, unfortunately. I had some things come up and everything. And I had some little bit of issues, and I just could not, you know, I could not get it out in time. So I do apologize about that confusion. I know I said I would try to make it at 12, but it never happened. Uh, it, it was not a tutorial. I really meant to get that out before 10 or 11. It just did not happen, unfortunately. Another thing that I would like to discuss with you guys is, well, I have not released it yet. It's going to be coming out on Thursday. It's all ready to go. Um, I'm going to start giving, you know, doing more vlogs or, you know, Getting back into doing my, you know, reviews and everything like that. Um, I, I didn't want to, you know, stop doing that. It was not, you know, intentional just to completely stop doing that. But we sort of switched to gaming and just completely forgot about it. Um, and of course, I didn't have, you know, very much equipment at that time. You know, I, I was recording with my iPhone and everything like that. And now I have a natural camera and everything. Uh, better internet, so we're able to do that. I don't know if it's just going to stick Thursdays. I might, you know, put it on a different day. Um, it depends how everything goes. But, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed doing that. I just didn't have the equipment for it, you know. It was a much easier to do gaming than anything else. Um, and now that I do have the equipment for it, I am going to start doing more of that. If you guys, you know, enjoy that, obviously. So, what do I plan on doing? Well, the next couple episodes for, you know, the reviews and getting my basic opinions on things. Um, I'm pretty much going to be in makeup. There's some things that, you know, I need to, you know, cover what's happening now with updates and everything. Like, like last year I did, um, a video to where they're planning on making, you know, you know, my apartment or, you know, possibly the whole, you know, state of Indiana, which is where I live at. The whole state of Indiana smoke free. Um, that has happened. I, I explained more in that video, but, you know, that's just one thing that, you know, you know, is to be expected, you know, you know, to keep a lookout for and everything like that. That's what's going to be, you know, coming up and to hop into to some new things, you know. You know, new things that I like to talk to you guys about. I sort of just gave you like a little tease, <laughs> I know, but <laughs> no, it, no, uh, that would be coming on Thursday um, because that's you know the schedule plan for right now for Thursdays for that type of stuff. Um, I I really want to change that. I I don't know if it's staying or not. Um, you know, that exact day. I, I, I want to try to do more than just, you know, that on Thursdays. You know, of course, gaming is going to be my main thing. But that's just like a little side, you know, type thing that we do on this channel. There's a way out of here. This is an interesting intersection. There's like a little overpass there, that's kind of weird. Getting used to the braking, it's not very realistic, it's kind of weird. We're heading, we're going through Las Vegas right now, red light. <laughs> I almost read that damn red light. I was thinking about it, but I would never make it. Well, I do like this truck, you know, it's not a bad truck. 
Um, it sounds really, really good. What the fuck is this shit? It, we almost did it again! What the hell is this shit? This, something's fucked up with this, because... <laughs> what the hell happened? We almost got another accident. I would have been so angry because we just did that last week. Like, oh uh, no. Like, no, we are not doing that again. <laughs> like, god damn it. Like, please, no. This is pretty cool. I like this. Give you guys a good glimpse of this area over here. I'm not even paying attention. I almost ran that red light. Ran into that guy that was turning. If I've ever seen a pointless red light, this is one of them. There's nobody here! Like, really? Why can't there just be a stop sign here? Well, I guess this street is kind of busy. But still... If I've, I've ever seen a pointless red light or stop light, that is it. Definitely. Really? Sorry, the brakes are touchy for this truck. I. That's why I just stopped abruptly because it's really, really touchy. It's not intentional though. Not intentional at all. Gun to like, like, what is this area supposed to be called? What is that area called? Looks like we're going to do Beverly Hills. That's what I'm looking for. Looks like we're going to do Beverly Hills because this looks expensive. It's like a expensive aisle scene. Alrighty, let's, you know, why are we even going to Las Vegas? <laughs> I don't know. We're not even close to, you know, where our destination is supposed to be. We still have four miles to go, so I don't know what we're doing going through Las Vegas. I'm sure there's an alternate route allowing going through the heart of Las Vegas. I, I don't think you know, that's necessary. I, I don't even know why we're going to Las Vegas, but you know, maybe don't implicate another route that you would have to take. I mean, I, I don't know very much about this, so I, I couldn't tell you that there was a better route. Uh, for, lo for the locals, I'm sure you guys know a better route around Las Vegas, but I personally don't. Oh. I just turned the truck off. That's not the headlights. That's my bad. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> God damn it. God, that's embarrassing. Just kill with the truck. That's not legit because vehicles cannot start when moving. They used to, but I, I don't think they can anymore. I think it, you know, vehicles have to be a park now for you to be able to start them. Like... Like, you know, back in the old days, uh, if your vehicle died on you, you can just, like, start it back up on mid-movement. Um, nowadays, you can't do that. You have to come to a complete stop, put it in a park, and you'll be able to start the vehicle again. Like, my family had a... like a 69 or 79 Impala. I don't know what kind of version it was, but it's a very, very old car. Um, very, very run down car. 
and it would die sometimes when we were, you know, driving down the road. We don't know why, but it would just randomly die. This car was a piece of shit. Anyways, it would die, so all we had to do was to, you know, start it back up again. You know, we were doing about 30, and we were able to start the vehicle back up. I heard that's not very good. Um, I heard that can destroy the car. Uh, I, I, I don't know the consequences of doing that. Um, but it, it was an old car. Who cares? You know, it broke down. It broke down. <laughs> there was nothing preventing that. You know. Like, this car was shot to pieces. Like, it needed to go. Like, it was all rusted out. You know, it, you know all run down and everything, it, it was time for it to go. And then we had another car, and you guys are going to find this interesting. I don't know what kind of car this was. Uh, it's been a long, long, long time. It's been about seven or eight years since I've seen that car, so I don't even remember what the name was. But we had a, um, I, I don't even know what make and model this was. I, I, I really don't know. But we had this vehicle, and for whatever reason, the reverse went out. Now, as you guys may have known, or if you don't know, transmissions are fucking godly expensive. Like, like ten thousand dollars at least maybe even more so you know you no know, a family that makes minimum wage at the time you know that you know was not you know we didn't have that kind of money you know to just throw away not ten thousand dollars you know that, that just was not happening so, every time we want to back the car up, we have to get out and push the car. <laughs> I'm not joking. We, you know, had no reverse whatsoever. We had to push the car. We get to go backwards. That was interesting, let me tell you. Yeah, I, I just, you know, like... I don't know why I'm even telling you this, guys. This is probably not very interesting, you guys. You know, I just, you know... While we're on the subject, maybe, you know... Might as well talk about that, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, in my opinion, if the reverse goes out, it's time for the car to go. Especially if, you know... You know, if, if the car's, you know, you know... You know, it, it would cost more to, you know, repair the car than the car is even worth itself. So, we, you know, we got another car and we junked that piece of shit. <laughs> well, we, we had to deal with that a few years. We, we were like the Flintstones. I <laughs> know. We weren't driving with our feet. It drove... You know, it drove forward just fine. It was just the reverse. I, I don't know why this happened, but it did. Anyways, let's see how much further we have to go. 351 miles. We still have about 10 minutes of recording time, so hopefully we'll be able to make that in time. I really hate going more than, than two episodes. I, I hate it. Um, because I, I, I want to get into some new things. Now, after this, I'm going to go ahead and switch things up a little bit. We've been doing a lot of reviews. We've been doing trucking reviews for a good couple months now, and it's time to switch things up. So, I am going to go ahead and get back into doing, um, I'm like heavy all stuff and you know doing like tankers and stuff like that showcasing you know those type of trailers and everything like that because it's been too long 
and we need to, you know, we need to switch things up because this is, you know, getting, this is, it's not getting old, but it's time for something new, you know, and I know you guys are probably thinking that as well, you know, it, it is time for something new. So we'll be doing that starting after, you know, we drop the load off. Um, whether that may be, whether it's after this episode, or whether it's, you know, you know, after the end of the next episode. Who knows, it's just when we get done, you know, dropping the load off. I'm grabbing some fuel just to top off real quick. I know we don't really need fuel, but I have realistic fueling on, or realistic fuel usage on, so we can run out of gas very, very easily. And we're gonna, like in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of the fucking desert, so I wanna make sure we have enough fuel. We're gonna be able to make it. Alrighty. I know we don't need fuel, but I, I might as well. It's here. So let's go ahead and get back on the road, shall we? to pass so we gotta go wide here so gotta wait for these guys all right we're good we gotta repair that truck comes or a bus it's like a bus yeah but it's a bus sorry buddy I tried to get it out of there before he, sh he was able to show up, but unfortunately I was not able to. Alrighty, let's get back on the way here. Seventy, this is not the jet, but <laughs> I'll take it, you know. I'm not doing seventy through here because I don't know what the curves are like through here. And that's realistic. You know, most truck drivers, you know, they're on an unfamiliar constant road. They they won't go to the speed limit. They go a couple, you know, maybe like 10 or 15 underneath the speed limit because they don't know what the cars are like. But if they know what the road's like, know what, what to slow down or when to slow down, they will, um, they, they go to speed limit. It, it's just, you know... You know, you don't want to end up putting your truck into a ditch, tipping your truck, or anything like that. So, you know, if you ever see your truck, you know, going, you know, 15 under, or even 10 over, not 10 over, but 10 under, y you know what he's doing on, and I mean on country roads, you know, just be mindful because the truck's bigger than you, you know, and you can tip a lot easier than you can, so. Well, I, I don't know about the tipping part, but we weigh a lot more than we, <laughs> than you do, and, and I'm talking about just, you know, regular cars, you know. No, and, and we don't turn very easily, so. There's a lot of cars on this road. I'm sorry, I, I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but, you know, I, I see that a lot. Yeah, I just, you know, that's just really, really stupid. I hate when people do that. You know, it's the number one thing I see on the road. You know, the people not being mindful of trucks, you know, you know, in their limited ability of doing things, you know. No, like, you know, no, like, like, 
What do I mean by being mindful? I'm not saying, oh, you can't pass them or anything like that. I'm not saying that. If you want to pass a truck, go right ahead. Just, you know, be careful, of course. What I mean by that is, you know, honking your horn on a truck, you know, flipping him off and everything because he's going slow. I see that so much, and it's just so ridiculous. You know, like, 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 relax, you know. There's no need for that shit, you know. Uh, I, I don't understand why people do that. I, I, I really don't. God damn, there's so many people on this road. What the fuck? We're in the middle of nowhere. Why is there so many goddamn people on this road? Like, this makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I'm having to shut my lights, my bright lights off every, like, five seconds because there's so many people on this damn road. I get it's between towns, but damn. Where's our turn here? I can't see. It's up here. Sorry, it's it's so fucking dark out, I can't see. Ah, these fucking brakes! God, I hate these brakes. Here's our way over here. Wow, look at these curves. These are tight curves. So I'm trying to concentrate here, guys. I'm Mason, I'm trying to drive correctly here. I don't end up hitting anything. Who, who put bushes here? Like, it's so hard to see. Like, seriously? You gotta be kidding me. Driving through here at night is not the easiest thing in the world. Let me tell you. I don't know if I could ever do this in real life. I probably could, but it'd be scary, to say the least. You never know if you're gonna hit anything or not. There's nothing back there. In that small ass town. <laughs> well, I, I don't even think that's a town. It, it could be. It looks like a town. Well, it looks really, really small. That I, I don't think there'd be very much there. You know, if he ever got broke down with uh, for trucks, I mean. There's no truck repair there. So... And we're in the middle of nowhere. There's no other town for miles. So, you know, getting, getting, you know, getting a repair truck out here or a tow truck out here would, you know, you know, be an interesting thing. But it would probably be really expensive, I'm assuming. No, and of course, you know, a small town, of course, it would have, you know, its own tow trucks, but. No, not the type of tow truck that would be able to handle towing the truck. You know. Oh, I'm talking about, you know, your small, you know, maybe like a flatbed. Or, you know, your, you know, you know, your small wreckers. You know. Uh, like a 50 ton wrecker or something like that. Not something that would be really meant for, you know, towing the truck. So, you know, to get, you know, a towing truck truck that's, you know, has a truck that's certified for towing a semi-truck, you know, you know, that's, you know, like a major cities, you know, near highways and everything like that, and this is just, you know, a simple road, 
you know, there's nothing out here besides that small little town. So, you know, it'd be interesting, to say the least. Very expensive, I'm assuming. Because you have to pay for their miles, so, you know, it, it is what it is, but, you know. Realistically, obviously, you cannot break down in this game. Well, you can, but, you know, you, it's not realistically getting towed. Um, you just, like, go blanks and then you're at a repair shop. You do pay, like, you know, a hefty fine. Maybe, like, eight, five hundred to six hundred dollars, um, to get towed. I don't know, it could be a lot more expensive. Um, it depends on where you're at. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that's scary. I can't see! Why is my... How did that turn on? I don't even know. That's weird. We got 207 miles to go. So hopefully we can make this in time. Sorry guys, trying to concentrate. That was interesting to say at least. Very curvy road there. Alright guys. I think this was, you know, you know, we're already at a 30 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and turn um, left here and we're gonna stop at one of these rust areas and go ahead and end it there I know but you know we're at our limit here and I, I don't really like going farther than 30 minutes I don't know if it's a special of course but that's you know you know it's easier for me give me that 30 I, I thought we we're going there. Where are not? Is this even a turning lane? I, I thought it was a turning lane. It looked like a turning lane. I got it. Where's my curiosity? This is not turning lane whatsoever. <laughs> this is confusing as fuck. Usually those are turning lanes. Where do they go? What the fuck? Oh, there's a little bit of ways up here. <gasps> oh my good god! Guy almost died there. There's not a one of my bottle caps from my steering wheel fall off. I use bottle caps to keep my steering wheel in place. Now I really have to end it because now my steering wheel is all over the place here. This kind of sucks. Let me interested in turning with this the way it is. All right, guys, trying to concentrate here. Give me one second here, guys. This turn wheel is not proper way to me. This is kind of weird. I should really have backups for this, you know, for this case. Ah, this is a motel. Really? I 
Come on, baby. You can do this. Go ahead and find the parking brake. Neutral. Well, that's going to do it for us today, guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you're already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.